Ah, uh, starting on a nice new project and yet already I have to do other stuff before I start the new project. Mainly because, you know, running around and making a platform is kind of annoying when you're constantly hearing the puffing and padding sounds of a extremely unfit space engineer. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm one to talk. <laughs> Hello everyone! My name is Dark Rubnick and welcome back to Pam's Anonymous <laughs> Space Engineers. But really Pam's Anonymous because these are Pam's are very anonymous with their jobs, running around doing doing stuff. Uh I spent the last two hours fixing them because um as i loaded you know both of them decided to die at least miss pam was still working but now both of them was dead it's like oh my god come on this isn't fair <laughs> what am i supposed to do however i did uh, use the opportunity to uh tweak a couple things because uh like i mentioned in uh last episode after recording you know during the editing i mentioned uh uh shields have been solved dished uh, should have power up. Yeah, see, power up. I've, uh, upgraded my solar panels to black, you know. And, uh, power is working. Why is it working? Well, I've kept my, uh, power drain, which is right here. I, I originally thought this was, like, a, not an actual power scale, but more of a, like, would you like to do miles or kilometers sort of thing? <laughs> So, you know, whenever I saw this, I just bypassed it, not realizing this is how much power this is going to use. So I pretty much kept this to almost bare minimum. If I went, one is bare minimum, anything lower than that, and the shields refuse to turn on. So I did two just so that way you can have enough power to, you know, survive a few hits, and that's it. The shields do come down every now and then. Normally, when it comes to, like, me teleporting backwards and forwards. That is always a quick way to bring the shields down. Because, <laughs> you know, these things aren't exactly, you know, big power bases or anything like that. And like I said, it took a while to get the relays working because it takes 15 minutes to go from here to the next relay station. And I had to set both of them up. I did have the problem of uh, being attacked at one point in time. Luckily, they didn't cause too much damage because, well, there were shields available this time. So... Yes, things didn't explode too bad. I survived an attack for a change. She was just barely held long enough to fend off the attack. Yay! <laughs> I don't know why during like your know, hours and hours of fixing things up, I was never attacked. And then as soon as recording starts, hey, we're going to start exploding you. <laughs> I was like, talk about annoying. So what am I doing this episode? Basically, I'm going to return to Mars and we're going to start work on our next project, a big construction project. I'm not needed in space anymore. Pam should be working. I have tested it backwards and forwards. I made sure I followed it. It was working. I've made sure not to quit the game so that way it doesn't say stop working as soon as I load. <laughs> so now I'll return to Mars. Luckily I got a warp drive on the back of this thing. And even if I didn't, it's only a few minutes to fly back. I kind of forgot that my uh, spaceship on the roof kind of needs to be inside. Oops. <laughs> I don't want this uh, thing to be out here when I'm landing back on Mars. Be bad. Be very bad. Got to make sure I dock this thing. And... Yes. Hopefully I don't explode on impact. That'd be bad. Boom. <laughs> I'm dead. And that instantly saved me 40 minutes of travel time. <laughs> Where's waypoint A? I'm only 18 kilometers away from it. Nice. See, as you can see, Cargo Bill's already gone back to Relay A. I'm happy that Miss Pam was was not and was actually working, whereas you know the other two weren't. Because Miss Pam, you know, going to space and back again would be a bit more of a pain in the ass resetting that one compared to say Cargo Bill uh, one and two, you know, not working. At least like this, it makes things a lot easier. You know, it'd be ironic if Miss Pam was coming down at the same time and, you know, our uh, flight paths cross path for a moment. It's like, the uh, Pams are awesome and all that, but they're not exactly what I'd consider smart. So if I was in its flight path, it wouldn't care about, you know, just ramming right through me. <laughs> all I can say is I'm lucky, you know, speeds uh, have limits and stuff like that. There's no way in hell Pam's going to catch up to me. Wow, this is a really nice view. 
Oh my god, that is really scenic. Really, really nice, isn't it? So beautiful. The next time I want to go into space, I should probably put an underside camera, just so I can see where my landing is. Because that's what I did with all my PAMs. I put an underside camera for all the connectors. So I could line everything up perfectly. But here is like, um, where is the, uh... Where is the platform? Where am I in compared to the platform? Well, at least my uh, space mission was a complete success. Kinda. I mean, I am kind of worried about, um, basically Pam stopping working as soon as, you know, I load the game again. But I'm sure everything will work out 100% perfectly fine. <laughs> it's not like I have to go and reset Pam each and every single time I load the game or anything like that, right? It's not like I haven't had to do that so far every time I've loaded the game, right? <laughs> Maybe I should do that as a bug report. Seems kind of like a good idea, you know? Maybe it's like a bug with Pam, or maybe it's a bug with something I've been doing wrong. I don't know. Perfect landing! Yay! Best of all, I no longer need oxygen. Because, uh... Yeah, didn't I leave the whole oxygen data running? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. See, helmet off, oxygen breathable. Oxygenator right there, everything is A-OK. -okay. I can breathe on Mars. Now if only I could make grass, that would look even cooler. Okay, so if I'm going to start my next project, which is going to be uh, basically building a uh, giant mega mobile base, I'm going to need some area for actually constructing this thing. So to do that, I, I think I'm going to go and increase my shield size to maximum because if I remember correctly when it comes to base shields I think uh, one of these uh, one of these things the shield could be the enhancer it's uh, one of them anyway it's supposed to basically double the power consumption but it basically removes the limit on size in terms of if you make it super large it doesn't consume more power from size that's what i was reading in the uh, description so basically if i made a tiny shield it consumes the same amount of power as a large shield that's what i'm trying to say so basically i need to max my shield out yeah how big is this gonna be <laughs> oh wait i just realized i've uh, i've pulled my helmet off but i've increased my shield and uh how is the oxygen in here again <laughs> oh my god this thing's huge well i can definitely make a big ass space but it might be a bit too much <laughs> I don't want to, you know, make it harder to defend my base against incoming enemies, so, uh, yeah, I should probably not make it quite this big. Okay, so the shield probably doesn't need to be that tall. Let's, uh, increase it to, I mean, decrease it to 200? Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, that's much more reasonable. Okay. Now, uh... Where will I build this ship? Hmm. Either way, let's uh continue shrinking the size down. Which one's which? Yeah, that's width. Let's go depth down, say... Yeah, 250 seems reasonable. Okay. And uh, width will uh, decrease to 350. But... All I'll instead do is, say, change the offset. So I have a big area to my uh, left to mess around with. I have no clearance issues with any of my stuff. But now I also have all this open space right here to play with. Yeah, that works. That is so cool watching the distances on all the three PAMs moving up and down depending on which PAM it is. Just goes to show that they're actually doing their job. Yay! Nice. Oh, I just realized. I haven't uh, put a sensor system and speaker on here again, I haven't. Like I had put in here for when it would land. Because, you know, this is only designed to detect anything in here, but not out there. Because I would like, you know, at least an alert or something for whenever this thing is landing. So I'm like, yeah, you're so cool. I'm going to watch you. You're so cool and so sexy. So very cool. I mean, automation is pretty sexy, you know? Watching them go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. What couldn't be sexier than full automation? 
Actually, now that I think about it, uh, I should probably set up my uh, planetary miner to go and uh, mine me some resources I'm lacking. Uh, what am I lacking exactly? Uh, probably gold. I mean, it's always gold on planet, right? Binary, how much we got? Four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. Uh, wait, didn't I actually mine a huge crap ton of it beforehand? I shouldn't actually have any problems with gold, right? Because I had my miner set to just mine so much of it. I'm sure that there's... Wait. Where exactly is all my ores? Uh, you have a lot of uranium. Oh my god, you have a lot of uranium. Wow! <laughs> a lot of silicon. Not so much silver. Plenty of nickel, cobalt, platinum, but... Where's all the gold? Oh my god, do I just have gold in my refineries? That's all. Oh wow, that's not much. What about ingots? How much we got stored? Silver... Wait, 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 that, that can't be right. I, I should have more than that, right? I should have a lot more than that. Tw wait, is that all I got? Oh yeah, I definitely need to go and uh, tell this to go and mine myself some. If I'm going to be able to pull this off, I really need that gold. Platinum, you know, it's important, but not as much as gold right now. Because platinum really only important thing would be, you know, thrusters and stuff. So, yeah, you're gonna have to be set up for a big patch of gold. You know, I could always set up myself another space miner because, uh, well, there was some big patches of gold in space. I have one marked in space and, well, now that, you know, Pam is currently <laughs> big, uh, currently there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not looking shifty-eyed when I'm saying currently. Anyway, Pam is currently working in space. I mean, I could, you know, have another minor drone set up in space to, I think at relay point B is where the gold is. You know, basically tell that bring gold along too. But, eh, I mean... I've already got this patch which I need to finish mining out right. Aha! It's flying away! Yay! Goodbye into the sunset! You're so beautiful if I could only see you, but I'm blinded by the light. <laughs> blinded by the light! Goodbye! Ah, so how am I going to do this thing? Uh, I mean I guess I can make a platform to work on right? I mean that's always the most logical option. Then I will have problems with, uh, well, build and repair with how large I'm estimating this thing might wind up being. I might not actually have a big enough area for it. I mean, like, build and repair, like, even if I build, like, four of them on one on each corner, it might not work. My best bet is maybe... If that hangar um, mod is still working, you know, the uh, one that is like a bunch of conveyors that, you know, you box in the sides and then it basically repairs or constructs or whatever within that radius, that might be my best option. But I never actually got around to testing that before my game started, you know, glitching out and stuff and... Hmm, I mean, is it still working? I don't know. On the other hand, maybe Nanite Repair Factory. I mean, I know it's not as popular since, you know, the whole updates and stuff, you know, and our power is a bit harder to deal with. But I do have my uh, giant windmills over here, and they uh, give a massive amount of power. And if worse comes to worse, I definitely have enough ingredients for making more. I mean, at this point in time, I have so much ingredients that these things are pretty much dirt cheap for me to make, despite how, being, how expensive they are. I mean, if I don't have enough power for Nanite Repair Factory, just, you know, add another three more towers or something to this thing. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's a, a, each tower has three windmills, that's a, a significant amount of power, you know what I mean? Best of all, you know, they also help the shields, so, you know, <laughs> if I had anything shooting at shields with that much power. <laughs> Either way, I should probably start working on a platform. Actually, let's get this helmet off, so that way she can stop puffing and panting. 
don't have to worry about suffocating anymore. Uh, what was that about suffocating again? I don't remember. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it must uh, still be filling it out. Okay. Or maybe it doesn't even realize it needs to fill things out. Maybe I might need to, like, re-empty it and refill it all up again because, you know, I've changed the zonage. Ah, uh, but if that's the case, I need a crap ton of ice. Ice that I don't have. Hey, how are you doing anyway? Your battery's fine. You're fine. If I had a spare one of you laying around, then you know, I could, you know, afford to do this because, but I don't exactly have spare ice laying around. Did I ever go and blueprint my, uh, <laughs> miners? My, you know, Mars miners? Because maybe having another, you know, miner just the ice might be a good idea after all. Uh, uh, hmm. I mean, I could, I could technically blue, uh, use you. I mean, I do have you blueprinted. Could uh, build another one of you in space, and uh, there's this big iceroid laying around, and you know, then my uh, cargo container vehicles will bring ice down. I mean, that's always a possibility. Hey, okay, so this automated drone I accidentally stuffed up with the. Uh, Screenshot and pasted over its <laughs> thing. So uh, yeah, I can't use that one. Cargo Bob, been a while since I've seen you. Uh, Hydro Tug, you mean the old version of that thing. Launch base, missile gunboat. Mobile base, multi-ship. Relay station, roaming rover, small truck. Tank thingy, the mothership. Uh, nope, 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 nothing on my own list of things. If I want another m m uh, miner, you know what? Screw it, I'll copy it. Uh, I'll go and uh, blueprint you. Now, how do I do that without swapping into creative mode again? <laughs> okay, I got that thing blueprinted. It took a bit of effort to screenshot the bloody thing. Kept moving up and down. I wound up, ac I wound up accidentally screenshotting uh, to the other one that I accidentally screenshotted to. What was it called again? Uh, yeah, the auto minor drone, so that thing's screenshot keeps changing. <laughs> hey, lucky it fits in here. That's perfect. I'll just tell it to build in here. Ah, uh, so long as nothing decides to destroy it. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, screw you! I knew it would do that! Okay, build and repair. All of them have to be turned off grinding for now, because... I have no idea what causes them to grind. Uh, I turn them off grinding again. I've forgotten. Okay, welding only. Now, will you weld if I put you down? Please tell me you'll weld. Yay! I don't know what causes them to start grinding. I mean, if they're happily welding, why would they grind? Oh yes, now I just remembered something. I have added a new mod. It is, uh... I don't remember what it's called, but it allows me to do that! Yes, and it allows me to... Uh... Change settings? How about you? Yes, yes! What a useful little mod this is, eh? Well, increase your height. Say there. Move you that way. Yeah, and is that where I want to place you? It looks like that's where I want to place you. Okay, so now we'll just line this all up nicely. And then it'll start welding once I get it going. What a useful little mod that is. One of the best things about that is it allows me to bloody work on light switches, because sometimes light switches are a real pain in the butt. But now I can just go boop, wait, boop, boop. Oh, now it doesn't want to do it. Boop. Why? What? Interior light. Boop, 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 boop. Work! Oh, here we go. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Nice. <laughs> but yes. Makes it easy to work on interior lights, so long as, you know, it works the first time and not the 50th time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this shouldn't hopefully take too long to build. While it's at it, I'll uh, build a docking port for it. Somewhere around here. Not sure where. Wait, I know where I could build a connection. 
right in here. I mean, I got plenty of, um, well, plenty of everything here. I just have to aim straight up, right? Uh, starting a nice new project and yet already I have to do other stuff before I start the new project. Mainly because, you know, running around and making a platform is kind of annoying when you're constantly hearing the puffing and padding sounds of a extremely unfit space engineer. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm one to talk. <laughs> you know, with a placement like this, I might be able to even fit two of them in here. That'd be cool. Holy shit! What the fuck? Ah. Uh... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, I think I understand what just happened, but... What the hell? Of all the convenient timings, it just does it right in my face. <laughs> well, that was weird. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend I saw nothing. Um, how does that logically work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. This thing is working. Now you will obviously have a name change to UD Miner 2. Perfect name. <laughs> if I turn you back on, will you have a spaz attack? So no. Okay. And you're not having any problem flying anymore, so we'll tell you to recharge and everything will be great. Cool, I now have myself another ice miner. One was much easier to build. Just had to, you know, blueprint my other one. With ice mining, even though I wasn't entirely, you know, interested in it originally. With ice mining, I can, uh, basically re-oxygenate this whole place. That way I can stop puffing and banding when I'm building. Cause that gets really annoying. I think I'm gonna go and um make a hole here for a, a chest or something because I am sick and tired of accessing things through a hole in the floor. I'd like to do a bit more than just a hole in the floor, you know? And there, okay. Um, those cargo containers are um airtight, right? Just in case your oxygen goes down, will, will that cause any problems? No, I think they're airtight, they shouldn't cause problems. Hopefully. <laughs> now I can remove this. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing it in the floor. Uh oh. What has happened to Cargo Bill 1? Crap, it was missing 30 minutes ago. <whistles> Not gonna find it now. <laughs> so, uh. Teleported here. I found it. It's here. It's got no power. Uh, how would I go about recharging this thing? I'm kind of worried that the reason it's got no power is because it was doing the whole disconnection thing again. You know, not connecting to the to the point and yeah, that's bad. Still, I can't believe I found this thing. I mean. I was kind of expecting it to be drifting in space, yo, not actually just sitting here. Wait, what? What? Did it break a leg? It broke two legs. It broke a whole bunch of legs. What happened? This is most odd. Wonder what happened? Maybe I was wrong? Maybe this thing got attacked or something? And then it decided to try and dock or something and... I don't know. Maybe when it was, um, maybe it was doing the whole up down thing, up down thing. And when it powered out, it was going down at a, at a nasty -ish speed and broke its feet. But then wouldn't this just bounce off the platform? Hell if I know what happened, this is the weirdest thing ever. You know, I really should go and put a diagnostic um, LCD on these things for Pam. 
and just you know send the diagnostics to the uh, script author because this is weird. Okay, work, 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 work. And you docked. But you blew away your feet. Oh my god, that was... What the f... Fudge? How are you repairing? How is it possible for you to repair? The hell is going on? <laughs> okay, I've loaded, I've redocked, and I've decided my uh, drones are extremely unreliable. I don't know why Miss Pam is working fine. Maybe different drone designs work better, but Miss Pam hasn't had any problems ever, whereas these two drones are the same drone design and they do not like working. The difference may be in that Miss Pam has got, um, more of a thruster deficiency, if you know what I mean. Like, because Miss Pam is so massive and heavy, the uh, thrusters do not have as much leeway when it's full and not as much leeway when it's uh, empty. Whereas these ones, the uh, absolutely massive thrusters on these probably make a huge difference. I mean... At this point, I guess, you know, dropping the thrusters down to tier 3 might make a difference. Also, another thing that might make a difference would be, say, instead of connecting to the platform here, say, have it extend out this way and have, like, the front connector here and just stuff like that, you know? So that way they can only connect through one point instead of, you know, landing on the platform. You know, the platform landing should, technically speaking, be accurate, but... Well, when it lands on the platform, you either have it smash into the platform and break its feet, or you have it fly just above the platform and not connect. At this point, I don't know what causes the drift. There's some sort of drift in the waypoints for the PAM, if you know what I mean. It worked fine, you guys saw it, right? It was working fine when I loaded, everything was fine, and uh, they were going backwards and forwards. Great! And now that's not the case. Now there are... Yeah, they just stopped. It's like after time they... The waypoint system or something, you know, whatever system that Pam uses to record its... Where they're supposed to land and stuff. It's like they drift a little bit. I mean, it's ever so slightly. It wouldn't be like a problem when, you know, you've got short distances of a few kilometers. Because this is like a 50 kilometer trip, it's a major difference, you know, and the drift is just too much for Pam to compensate for. Maybe that's the problem. It sucks, but I don't know. Like I said, maybe my best bet is to just drop the thrusters down by one tier and change how they connect. Might do that next episode, you know, like uh, before I start playing. See about modifying the thrusters and the connection points on these. Otherwise, yeah. At least I picked up a crap ton of uranium from these. I mean, well, look at all that in Cargo Bill 2. Oh my god. Maybe I should tell Cargo Bill 2 to move on. On the other hand, my base has like a thousand stored, so meh. <laughs> either, either. <laughs> and when I say a thousand stored, I mean a thousand refined stored. And who knows how much unrefined. That stuff is crazy. I didn't realize spending so long out in space getting the relay network up would cause it to, you know, refine so much uranium. Okay, I'll set this one up to mine and that'll be it for this episode. Ah, <sighs> things have been very frustrating this episode. Actually, no, it wasn't too bad. I mean, for most of it, it was pretty good until I discovered, you know, once again, my relay network that I spent ages on is not working how it's supposed to and that I should probably you know run a diagnostics on it and uh send it to the script author you know just in case yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've seen this thing <laughs> wonder how much more damage I can do to it now wait there's a death mode auto or how does this work Ho 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 ho! I gotta test this out, eh? Let's max it out again. 
Um, wasn't there a limit to this thing beforehand? I guess the limit has been removed. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so how does this uh auto thing work? Will it like go to its position and just skim off the ice and ignore the stone? Will it skim off the ice? Like, does it consider ice to be an ore? I don't know. Now imagine like the auto mode would be designed for a situation like this where, you know, it's just a top layer of ice. Hmm. Picking up nothing but stone. Nope, it's just digging straight in, isn't it? Oh well. Maybe it's for something like, you know, actual proper ores and not ice. So that the gold one, you know, it would uh, dig down to the gold, get the gold and then stop after it's reached the gold. Maybe that's what it's designed for. Not designed for ice. Which it was designed for ice because, you know, it certainly makes skimming off the top a lot easier. Well guys, this episode has been uh, a load of fun. It was uh, very interesting. And for a little while, a glorious, sweet little while, Pam Relay Network actually worked. And then it all went to crap. <laughs> you know how it is. It all works fine and then it goes to crap. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't get to start my project this episode. Well, kind of. I mean, I started working on the platform and then I realized, you know, she's all puffy and panty and it's really annoying. So I'm like, yeah, let's go uh, make sure there's proper oxygen in the area. So that way, you know, everything's great. And I built myself another miner. That was super easy. Even if... <laughs> Even if that went a little weird. <laughs> that ex uh, ramming into the wall was um, not expected. Especially as you know, at the time I was just passing by and caught it. I mean, could you imagine how weirded out I would have been if I wasn't nearby at the time and, you know, came back and found it just smashing against the wall? I would have been like, what? <laughs> uh, don't you just love Pam? It's so useful and so weird. <laughs> So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, well, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Holy shit! What the fuck? Ah... Uh... Uh, 